Michael Centali. Psychologist Dr. Tiffany Sanders with me. You know, it's funny that she would say that, Dr. Tiffany, because right before we came to air tonight, mm -hmm. I was talking to my EP, Liz, about the last time I saw my fiancé before he was murdered. And I can remember to this moment him driving away and he held his arm out the window to wave goodbye over the side of the car. All right. I remember that like it was yesterday. But here, Allison Talley is asking him, Thorne, what exactly happened? And he's just saying it's an accident. That's right. all he can say. It's an accident. I don't it believe that. Right, Nancy, he was evasive. And really, if a husband had lost his first wife, why on earth would he place his second wife in any danger? Because he's uncaring, he lacks empathy, and he is a maniacal maniac that wants to kill this woman. And he took advantage of this situation, her life insurance policy, and he made it uh, so purposeful that she could not uh, defend herself in this a really un terrible situation, and he uh, should be behind well, bars. You know what? I, I, I'm with you in my heart, but in a court of law, you've got to have hard evidence. Regardless of what you think happened, you've got to prove it. Dr. Michelle Dupree, forensic pathologist, Columbia, can you tell? Is there any way to tell Dr. Dupree by looking at her body whether she fell or was pushed? Nancy, thanks for having me. This is an exceptionally interesting case. It raises a lot of red flags. As I look at the autopsy report, the vast majority of injuries, the significant injuries, are all on the right side of the body. There's a few that are on the left, but all of the lethal injuries are on the right side. What that does that mean? Of... Doesn't well, that just mean it... she fell on her right side? Well, I understand that she didn't just fall. She fell down about 50 or so feet. You're not going to continue to fall on your right side. You're going to tumble. Oh, okay. I would expect a little bit of different injuries. You know what, Dr. Just, Dupree? That's why you're the MD and I'm just the JD. So what about this, Dr. Dupree? Uh, her husband says that he tried CPR and tried to save her life mouth to mouth. But when she got to the morgue, A, the top of her head was sheared off, and B, her lipstick, her pink lipstick, was perfectly applied. There was no smearing. The lipstick was still on there. How can that be if you try mouth to mouth on somebody? I don't think that's possible, Nancy. Um, first of all, mouth to mouth, you're going to you're going to cup your hand around that person's mouth and the face and hold it steady, and you're going to breathe in that person's mouth. You're going to get lipstick smeared. In addition. Typically, when we apply CPR, there are other injuries that are associated with this. I'm not that worried that they don't show up because hers are significant. But the lipstick, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do that, that either. That. that really jumped out at me. Listen to this. Ken Clark, tell Dr. Dupree about the ring, the $30,000 diamond. Well, that's very interesting because it was actually Mr. It was actually Mr. Hathorn who brought that up originally during the interview, and he said that the diamond was missing. It was a thirty thousand dollar diamond, so it was a significant size, was missing out of the ring. But oh, by the way, the the value doesn't matter. Well, nobody had really noticed, and nobody had brought up the missing jewelry until then. But the damage on the left hand was not that severe. So how would that diamond have been? knocked out of that setting and they believe that he took it out of the setting prior to the fall so something's up with that you pay your auto insurance premium every month on the dot you're like the poster child for paying on time and then one day you tap the bumper of a station wagon no big deal until your insurance company jacks up your rates you freak out what good is having insurance if you get punished for using it Hey, insurance companies, newsflash, nobody's perfect. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Have you ever thought, I could never do that? Have you ever thought, you just didn't have anything left in the tank? Well, you do. Because the courage is already inside. 
When you have a migraine, you'll reach for anything to make the pain go away. Truth is, most pain relievers don't work like Excedrin Migraine. It relieves my pain starting in 30 minutes. That's fast, plus sensitivity to light and sound. Excedrin Migraine. Wow, that was fast. I tried Belvita at breakfast and then made the bed, had a swim, scared the pants off at Tim. Bought some tech off a blog, met a bongo playing dog. Crunchy Belvita breakfast biscuits are made with delicious ingredients and carefully baked to release four hours of nutritious, steady energy. Morning win. Good. Very good. You see something moving off the shelves, and your first thought is to investigate the company. You are Type B. Yes, investment opportunities can be anywhere. Or not. But you know the difference. E-Trade's barcode scanner. Start investigating the instant inspiration.